Hello everybody, I hope you all are having a wonderful day. We got a pretty awesome video on the channel for everyone. We're gonna go hang out with Pedro from Comic Lore. He's planning on doing a Instagram live sale. So he's getting together a whole bunch of cool stuff, pricing up everything, and he told me to come on by so I could take a look at it and then give you guys a little bit of a preview so you guys can see what he has, see some of the prices. We're gonna check out some of his original art. And then I have to bring him that upper deck box that he won from the raffle at the uh, thrifting comic show which was awesome i don't know if he's going to open it i think he said he might give it to his son for a christmas present i've been super busy over here so it's nice getting out of the house a little bit i actually just picked up a huge 65 long box collection right behind me on top of all the other books we already had so this house sale coming up is going to be full of a lot of stuff but i'm going to get out of the house a little bit hang out with pedro see what he's got going on and we'll check out his cool books we'll bring you guys back once we get there all right everybody we just got the pedros i'm excited to hand him over this hawkeye box and we're going to see what he's got going on for the day angelo what's up Come pedro in. what's going on brother Come nothing in. much man whoa Trying big changes in. This place is looking sick, man. I haven't been here in a while. I it's still a few more things to come. I'm gonna have curtains covering that up, curtains over there. I'm gonna have like a video game uh, machine, maybe a pinball game here. TV goes on the wall, so doing a few more things. That's awesome, yeah, man. Making it look cool. I got this for you. Oh, awesome! I can't believe I won this. I know. When Sarah that's called so your awesome. name, she was like, "It's rigged." <laughs> this is great. Yeah, that's I awesome. It. I was the first guy to play it. And boom, got it. It's gonna ma make a great Christmas present too. It's awesome. Thank you. I'm excited to check out what you got going on with this Instagram live sale. You said you got some cool books you're gonna be running. Yeah, yeah. So. so we're gonna do a live sale on Instagram. This is gonna be our first live sale. Everybody's been asking for one for a long time, and I always say, nah, I don't like shipping stuff, but actually you're gonna be able to see, I have so many boxes that I have enough, I think, to ship a lot of stuff. So we're gonna do a, a, an Instagram sale. It's gonna be the weekend of uh, the 16th, uh, December 16th, 17th, I think. It's a Saturday, Sunday. I'll post it on Instagram. I'll let you know before the, the we'll pick it before the end of, of the video today. We'll pick a date. It'll be at comic underscore lore and Instagram. We'll do the live sale there. And we're gonna have a lot of books, mostly keys, a lot of CGCs, a lot of uh, raw books, and Toys. We're gonna have toys. So uh, graded toys, ungraded toys, but good toys. So come and check it out. I think you're gonna find something you love. Graded toys. I never heard of graded toys before. Oh yeah, yeah. I did. I did. It's it's a brand new thing. I'm not into it to as much. I have uh, Aaron. My friend Aaron's gonna be with us, and he's gonna have a bunch of those. Platinum edition on yeah. the Spider Man. I McFarland. put it into one of those plastic uh, things. And I would have sent this to CGC, but since we're doing the sale at this point, I'm just gonna, whatever doesn't sell, then I'll, I'll send some stuff to CGC. But for now, I got a brand new, super nice Gambit, which I just found out today that he's wearing a thong. I didn't know that. Did you know that he's wearing a thong? You can now never unsee that, ever. Oh, wow, well, yeah, I just noticed <laughs> that. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Yeah, super nice, sharp copy. Got a few copies of uh, newsstands, uh, 361s. Yeah, I'm sure they'll do Carnage well eventually. First uh, cable as a baby. This again, this is just recent acquisitions. Stuff that uh, I have to go through it, grade it, price it. Is that the first Molten Man? That is the first Molten Man. This book is so hard to find in, 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 in high grade. And it should, be, it, it should be worth a lot more. When you find it in really, really high grade, it's actually pretty cheap right now. It used to be so hard to find. I have a few Silver Age. I have a lot more Silver Age somewhere else. This is, I actually bought this because I want to try, you know that new um, light way of, of getting rid of, of, uh, of like cream pages and stuff? I've heard Lenny talk about it. Yeah, there's a bunch of people doing it now and, and I gotta tell you, this is, this to me was like the perfect candidate. The books is a nice, like, it hasn't been pressed or clean, right? But it's, it's a good 4, 5, 5, oh. thinking great candidate to try things out and see what what works. So we'll see. If I don't sell it, I'm definitely going to send this to see what magic can be done with the book. That will be kind of cool video to show the, the before and after on a book like this. What kind of a grade do you think it's in sitting like that? 4, 5, 5, oh. And again, I'm de I'll decrease the grade just because of that, right? So So that's still... How does something like that happen? Is that just sun, like the sun, I guess? You know, it's it's funny because typically the sun will de de will deteriorate it, right? That will will actually kill it. So I'm not sure exactly how something. I think this is just sitting in a box for too long, humidity. 
but the sun would have actually faded it, not turned it into brown. Oh, here's the uh, the normal one. So Poly bag version. Yeah, the way you can see the difference. That's one of those books too that not a lot of people probably know about. How expensive is that? Do you think the platinum version? Well, this thing, if if this thing it was like a nine six nine eight, it, it's in the thousands. Oh, really? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, it's it's because it's rare. I've actually I've only seen two of these, so it's not it's not a you see a lot of these, right? And you would think it's it's similar, but it's not. Look at the the different in the in the web. See how that one's really really shiny different in there this is all different it looks really really sharp it has a lot of uh you know that because of the cardboard thing it's that discoloration so i'm not sure if they'll make out of it for that this corner is a little blunted i would say this is at least nine four minimum tom Mayle shows up in 608 619 is the first time he shows up in in custom basically. yeah and this is the variant set here so this Correct. is the this is the regular cover, I think, right? Correct. And then you have the second print, which is also really rare. Yeah, and they're all Jim Lee covers. And I have to reprice everything, right? The, the thing about the market today, which is, uh, again, good for collectors, prices are dropping. So all this is priced from last February show, and now I have to go through all this before, between now and the show to actually reprice all the books and make them, just bring them to the actual price of what today's market is, right? That's a complete set of Heir to the Empire. First marriage eight. Everybody loves that. And see, look, that's not the price of that book anymore. So that book will definitely drop. Same for that one. That's the first what back row on that? This is the first original back row. Yeah. Now this one has a spine split, but this is a great like for if you're a reader, you just want to buy it this book in in the cheap, and you just want it for your collection. This is a great way to get it. It is complete. It is. Uh, um, one staple is attached. When I buy collections, I take out anything that I'm gonna send to CGC and the rest of the stuff goes into my boxes, right, for the shows. If it's, I only keep keys, so all of it is keys, but anything that is less than $50 goes in those boxes, right? And then the hot keys or anything that is over 50, I put them over here. Actually, there's a lot of books over there that are like 200 or so, but they're not like a big key that people are seeking, so I just throw it in there. Um, but if it's a book that eventually I'll put in a wall, I'll put it in here, like Tales to Astonish number two. I mean, that thing, I, I right apparently ate it. Oh yeah, look at that bottom right. corner there. But again, finding this book raw today, you find this book CGC from time to time, but it's a really, really rare book, right? Pre-coat, I'm sorry, pre-heroes. pre, pre, uh, uh, pre -heroes. Super nice, great Batmans. First print on the Killing yeah. Joke. First Killing Joke, yeah, first print. Ooh, that one's hard to find, low print run on those later Punishers issue 102. And all, all these prices more than likely will go down, so we'll see. You gotta come to the live show to see. This one, you know, the, the show's still supposed to come out, so I'm, I'm still hopeful that we end up with a Punisher with a War Machine armor. Really nice high grade Swamp Things. I remember those from the con you had them at, those are nice. Yeah. So all these are gonna be for sale at the, at the live show? All these. And again, I will go through all the prices. But these are really nice, high-grade Swamp Things. I actually sent number one to CGC and it came back in um, 8.0. I think I sold it. Oh, that one's a classic yeah. with Batman. All of them from you know, from 2 to 11. Really nice, high-grade Baron x men right? I, have, I, I got a few on the last show. Priced them, but I never showed them to anybody. Oh, oh I got a Dazzler. Few yeah. That one might actually have gone up. A I, bit. I was going to say, maybe this book actually went up. Maybe the price of the show is a little higher than that. We'll see. We'll see. But look how nice these are. Everybody loves those X Men. Well, series. it's a great time to buy X Men, if you think about it. X Men is coming. It's already been announced. It's already in the Marvel Universe. If you saw the Marvels, you know what I'm talking about. First in Humans. I love Fantastic Four, so I'm going to have a lot of Fantastic Four here as well. There's that cover. The McFarlane. Yeah. It's a new stand for St. Man. You know, when the show, right now is the perfect time to buy some of these books, man, because when the show comes out, look at how nice this book is. Yeah, Steranko is definitely one of my favorite pentos of all time. More it's not like it's all out of place. It's a really nice what if. Maybe we'll see that in the, in the cartoon, you know? That'd be funny, Spider-Man with the guns. First Dylan. First Abomination. I always love Fire Lord as, and, and, and to me, 
after um, having Silver Surfer being the Herald of Galactus, this guy was the second Herald and the, and the strongest through the 80s. This was it. And now I guess they, they, this guy will never show up in, in, in comics. We'll see. Oh, there's another Swamp Thing. Oh, that's everyone loves that one. Yeah. So are these all going to be at like buy it now prices? All these, well, the way I think about doing it is I'm going to give a buy it now, right? And if you claim it, it's yours. But if it doesn't sell, I'll take offers. Just like a regular claim sale, let's call it, right? Online. This story, if you never read it, is great. And I see this has one of those transparent, so you can see the back. Is this yeah, such a nice? Clear. That's Frank Miller too, right? That is Miller. Yeah. Future and Pass. I have this set, actually, the new stand set. Oh, that's a nice set there. Yeah. And I have another set, which is a direct set. Oh, so you're selling it as a set complete. Yeah, I have. I think I have extras, but if I have two really nice, you know, close grade of the same, I put them in a set. Like, I have the whole race. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell the race as a set. Oh, that's a nice set there. Oh wait, that's it. Oh, that's the first. So there's four of them. Yeah, there's I three. think there's no, more there's of three. them. One of them is a is a reprint. Uh, or maybe they're part of the race. Ninety-eight. Mm -hmm. I think one of them is a reprint. You gotta have Adam Hughes. Oh, that's a cool one too. You gotta have all the Adam Hughes covers. Like Death in the Family. One. I actually participated in. And this is a new stand. I participated in selecting to get him killed. Oh, so this same guy is the guy who did this one here. That woman. I don't know who that is. This is actually, uh, it, those colors, this is a black and white cover. So Lifehill colored it and signed it. Oh, that's awesome. So he colored in Deadpool yeah, he there. he colored in Deadpool and signed it. Oh, there's the number one. There's the number one. There's the number one. There's a little Wolverine section there. Stand. Another one of those. I'll put them in order. I got a few of these, I think. Really nice, high grade, over and over and over. This high grade, New Mutants 98. Oh, that one's great. And I got a bunch of, there's the set right there. They say that this is the first uh, 2099. I, I actually disagree. I think 2099 is the first open, but you know, it's just up there. This is a cool story. Oh, look, there's a giant set X-Men 1. Without, without the cover. Without the cover. And then I have a whole set, another set of Secret Wars, all of them. Uh, there's number eight. This is just the latest collection that I picked up. Picked this up from Rick and New Force. I actually haven't even priced them. This is still his prices. So I will price this and have them for the uh, for the live show. So this whole box came out of one collection? The majority of it, yeah. You'll see when the prices change. But see all these Silver Age, nice books i just love the cover i love clear i love dr strange so picked it up frightful four i'm sorry this is a first in, in humans as well basically look at that cover i just love doom covers I'm not sure if i expect much from the fantastic four movie it's first claw but i'm hopeful very hopeful i love that cover all these I would I would go through, price them, and 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 have them ready for uh, for the show. And I have a lot more seal rays that I'll bring to the show as well. Hopefully, we'll do a few good hours. Well, I want to capture both East and West Coast, so more than likely 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. East Coast, and then go as late as people stay. Yeah, those tails of suspense are nice. People are always looking for those. Some of them are really nice shape. Some of them are perfect reader copies. I like these boards you got everything in too. They're nice. With the yeah, they, they, they hold better so because they, they're really acid free. So you don't have to change them. So as, like the regular boards in, in, in back, you gotta change them almost every year. But these ones you can keep in there for a long time. See, this one I didn't get from him. This is from a different collection, but that's a sketch. The whole I think thing. I remember when you got this, I think I, yeah. this is the one I got on camera. Yeah, this is a uh, this collection. Up. I love these sketches. This is cool. We got some other sketches back there too. Yeah, another sketch by Greg Horn. I know you've been getting more into the original art, huh? I am. I am. Here's another sketch. I don't know who Avil is, but it's a cool sketch. I used to send stuff to CEC every week, but since I'm not picking up collections every week anymore, I would say at least once a month. I don't know. Somehow I get a. a, a 
I get an invoice from Lenny almost every week, but I send them once a month. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you got some big books, and you're always getting big books in, so it's worth it sometimes. You don't want to like send something like this in? If it doesn't sell at the show, I will. What is the price on this? I don't know. You know? I haven't, that, like I said, those I just got, so I haven't priced them yet. I'm going to guess somewhere around 700 but Wow, really? Wow. Yeah. It's, it's such a nice shape, but again, I don't know. It's a little bit more. But we start with ASM six on a six five. That's the second appearance of uh, uh, of uh, the lizard. No, it's the first lizard. White pages. Is That's six the first lizard? Yeah, it's the first. I'm, don't make me feel. Oh, crazy. it is the first appearance. I was gonna say. Yeah. I <laughs> White pages. Second vulture. That man. These are six some nice high grade Spider Mans. Uh, Spidey ten six zero. 46 and 92 this one is the uk variant for some people that actually these are the original variants right and this came out a day before the original ones so so in essence their first print because they came out the day before nine four not that great and see this one already dropped it from 750 to 550 but i gotta check prices on all this again it's gotta be hard to price all these up and you know what I mean? All the time these books probably move so no, often. No, I have a spreadsheet and I just I just hit GPA and I go through it, figure out the, the, the recent price and then all I have to do is just change the ticket. But see, I do have some cheap books and all these stuff I didn't grade. So I just bought them in a collection. So it's Ooh, there rolling the dice and see what this one. Yeah, that is one that a direct or a newsstand? That was direct. I have a few of these. There's that one again, 9 yeah, I that's got those. Nice, nice. Most of these books I send myself. I got a bunch of these. This is, so, the the first appearance of Ezekiel, which is, I don't know if you saw the preview to uh, uh, Madame Web. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Ezekiel. He's the villain in the movie. It's He's not the villain. Oh, he's not? No, the villain is Morlum. Oh, I don't know what that is. The, it's cool, because if you gotta watch the, pre the, the preview again, it makes it look like Ezekiel is the villain, which is exactly how the book is. So you gotta read it. But the villain is Morlum, who's also in the movie. This is the first Ezekiel and first Morlum right here. So both the villain and and uh, and Ezekiel will show up in, in Madame Web and have this book. But I have, look, I don't have one. I have one, two, three. So you're specking a little bit on that one, huh? <laughs> Five. And I send those in. That, I send those in. Came out. I have more. Let me see. Right here. So this one's a new stand. All those are direct. This is the new stand. New yeah. stand in a 9A. That's got to be hard to find. Yeah, another new stand 9A. Oh, this is hard to find in a 9A. Oh, and the new stand. Whoa, that's cool. You never see this book this high grade. Plus a new stand copy. You got to get um, Ramita to sign this. So I send these in raw. And it came back and I couldn't freaking believe it. Early Penguin uh, cover appearance. What does something like that go for? That means so I have it at 850. See, it's not it's not too too expensive for a, for a book, but it's Batman 43 from 1947, Golden Age Batman for under a thousand. That I think is half of that price now. Right? I think that book dropped. A lot of the modern yeah. ones, yeah. This is the first appearance of Ermin. This first bullseye. Dang, that's nice. 1196. Well, again, we gotta check all those prices right before sale. There's a. Um, First Electra, and again, these are these are all labels. There's another Electra. This is a new stand. I think it was this new stand. Uh, no, this is not right. I covered it. Oh, but there's a new stand. So I have three, two nine, two nine sixes. Nine two. This is the second appearance of Penguin. Detective Comics 59, 1942. That's first Martian Manhunter. This potentially is the hardest book to find in these boxes. Ooh, that you're selling that. Well, it's a golden record. Oh, that, I was going to say 800. That's the reprint. <laughs> I didn't realize. Yeah. How do you tell from looking at it? That there's no price. Time. Oh, there's no price. Yeah. And I think... The ads are different on the back, probably. I think so. Let's leave it outside so we'll compare. Well, that's the first scroll, right? This is, this is the, the uh, yeah, first scroll. Number two. Three, five. And then the first custom in a, in a 4 hour. Another person here. I think I have a bunch of those. Sergeant Fury. Again, see, I do have under $500 books. I love this cover. Absolutely love this cover. All four of them with the old label. This label's been retired. 
Are they all 9 8s? They're all 9 8s. Oh, that's really nice. Same label for all of them. All 9 8, all white pages. What does that set go for? Uh, the last time I checked was going for like 21, 2200. But I'll check again and see. And it has a, the uh, Satanic oh, that everybody wants. Dang, that's sick. Adam Hughes. I have 775, but I bet you the price drop again. Look, it started at 850, dropped to 775. That was back in February, so we'll see what this is by, by the time I price it again. Some of these books. Look at this. 96. This one hasn't dropped much because I don't think, I think there's only four copies or six copies in 96. So it's just not a book that sells often. But I think the, um, the movie is going to be based on Ultimate Fantastic Four and not on the originals. So that's why I think I bought this thinking it would be a good spec. We'll see what happens. Do you spec on books a lot? I used to, not anymore. What is that, for Sinestro, right? For Sinestro, yeah. You have the first Luke Cage in here, don't you? I've been looking for one. Yeah, yeah, it's in this box. It's in this box. There oh, is. there we go. <laughs> I just, did you just ask for it? Ooh, 550 too. Well, I got to check to see. It might be cheaper than that. And I have two. First, um... Gwenpool. Gwenpool. And this is the variant that is like... I don't know if it was 1 in 25 or 1 in 50. But it's very, very scarce. You can find it black and white easily. But the color one is the hard one to find. 9.4 is the highest grade on this book and there's not too many of them so very very rare and the highest grade on this book is a 9.6 so it's second highest grade to 9.4 again super hard to to find i love that purple cover on there yeah and that's hard to find purple in, in 9.8 i have a few of these yeah and you know they already said it's going to be in the deadpool movie so two of those a5 newsstand See, I is trying to hit some of the cheaper books too. Nine two regular. Nine three different ones too for different people, you know. Yeah, nine six regular, nine six regular with the, with the uh, label. More X Men. Oh, this is a good set. This is both of them are nine two newsstand. This thing, man. That Everybody. I a lot. I know. I, 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 I like bet you not even. Yeah, I bet you not even seventy five dollars <laughs> anymore. This is the first saber tooth. First bat might I guess you would call this a spec box, right? Forge is definitely showing up. Iliana is definitely showing up, right? As magic. I got two of those. This is first kit Loki. So I just put them away. But right now DC DC is if you want to spec, that's where you want to spec on. You want to spec on DC. Because Marvel is kinda dead for the movies, in my opinion. It's first kilowatt. Conan, you know, you know I love Conan. My, lo my dog's name is Conan. I know you got all those magazines. That was oh, a nice I do have them. Yeah, we can we can share some of those if you want to see them. I got a nine six of the X Men thirty. Oh, that's sick, Pedro. The that's John Bernthal photo thing in nine eight, and, and then the second print FF forty five and an eight five. All day, well, nice, great FF five. Oh, boom. So these these are not for sale unless the right people show up. Then I will sell them. Dang. I need something like this in my life. <laughs> so <laughs> some of these on. yeah, some of these I will definitely I will have at the show. I might put them in the top rack because I'll have the whole rack set up here. Look at that. First Iron Man. This one right here. I need a copy of this. I think I have another copy in there too. You had like three or four. I remember you had I only a signed have two one. Left. I only have two left. Oh, you saw you sold the signed ones? I did. I sold that one. Yeah. I have first Vicky Vale and Matt Hatter in 80, which is again Golden Age Batman, super, super rare. I did show you that, right? Oh the dare is that a 90? That's an 80. Oh eight, I got better. I have an 80 and a 75. So these these I will sell for the right price. And again, I have to check prices on it. So if the price is is close to what I want. They'll be on the show. If not, then I won't show it. Let's see. So, like this one, I had it at 35. I think it's dropped now. So, but it's a 98 white pager. Did you buy this raw or did you? No, I actually traded for that. I bought a few of these. Let me see how many. Actually, none of these I bought raw. All these I bought graded or traded for them. That was a trade. 
I bought that one. That was a trade. This was a purchase. This was a trade. That was a trade. Back in the day, people were trading a lot more. Now it's kind of hard to get people to trade. Let's see what else is here that I will be selling. I might sell that. Only because I got that. Oh, wow. The new stand in the 90? Yeah, oh you didn't gosh. see this one last time. That's crazy. Is that new? Yeah, this is new. Yeah. How much is a new stand 9 go for? I want to say 4200 but I'm not sure. Because, again, this was a trade, too. So now I have both. So I might actually sell this one. I have to check what I paid for it and what the current price is on it. Let's see. There's my Kona 9.6. I want to upgrade this one. So if anybody... That's the other thing. If anybody has a 9.8 on some of these books or a higher grade than what I have, I'll absolutely trade towards it. If you're in the trading mood, like I want to upgrade that. These three corners, I would definitely want to upgrade. Right? The, the two Rick Sonyas, I got nine sixes on them. I got one nine six. If I can get a nine eight, nine eight set, you have access to a bunch of the books that I have here. Really nice. Number one. Yeah. Here's uh, the, uh, my copy of the uh, first Batmite. This is new. You haven't seen this one. Let me take it out. I just got this at Heroes Con. And I ended up selling a book that I did not want to sell. And because I sold it, when I got to Heroes, I was able to buy this. Verified SIG by Bob Kane on the first page. So I'm sending this one back to reattach the centerfold. I'm giving this to Kenny Sanderson to do a little bit of touch up. And I'm gonna send it back to CBCS to get the yellow label with the signature that they do now instead of red. Oh, and so they'll just lower the grade, right? It will higher, no, it will, the grade will go up because the center is detached. So once we reattach it and do some touch up, it's professionally restored, right? So Kenny's a professional restorer. So I'm gonna send it to him, get all this worked out. So once we get it back, I'll show you again what, what we get on it. But my expectation is that it'll go up from a six or two higher. And this book, again, is like impossible. I've only seen two in my lifetime. I bought both. The first one I sold by mistake, and then now this one, so now I'm keeping this one. Okay, here we go. See, the back is different. Remember the uh, Golden Eight? The, uh, oh Golden yeah, with record? the ad. I think it's over yeah. here. So yeah, you can see the difference in the ad there. Oh, you got a couple of them. I got a 2-0 with the, uh, two old with the uh, old um, label that they now changed it because the the thing is now I, th I think they shifted to the right so they don't disrespect the thing. Oh, they completely covered them. I didn't even know yeah. that. <laughs> Killed them. And the and there was a label before this one where they also covered them over here. So it was, it was just bad. So I got this two and see the back is different. Yeah, this is the reprint. And I have a few of these. Now that they're saying the Silver Surfer is going to be on the screen, we'll see what happens. There's my, uh, so I have the 9.8 for sale. The 9.4 is the one I tend to keep. That one was new. I got that one, I think, in uh, Heritage as well. And I did get this. I just got this. So. Oh, first guy gardener. Yeah. And then 9.0. And the funny thing is, I bought this in 9.0, and then two weeks later, a 9.2 showed up. So just for slightly more. Very first copy of these that I bought. I paid 12 cents for it. Oh, you bought it off the shelf? No, I, <laughs> I wasn't alive. Let me see. 1968, I wasn't alive in 68. No, I walked into uh, uh, I, I walked into this place in Puerto Rico where this guy was selling comics. And I go, how much? He goes, cover price. So he had Silver Age books for 12 cents. And I bought a bunch of books for $4. And that was one of them. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Let's see. You've seen these. Let's see if there's anything here. You saw my hopes, right? Whoa, yeah. I always love that book. Though. You got two of them, right? I do. Yeah, the three of them. I'm trying to find what else I'm going to be selling. I might sell these, the Hulk 2, the 6.5. What does a Hulk 2 and a 6.5 go for? I don't know. I got to check. Maybe four or five grand. We'll check. That's my my personal cup. I'm trying to get a 180.194 so I can, you know, match it with this one. Oh, here we go. I'm selling these two, yeah. So I have... You saw one over there, 5-0, 5-0, yeah, and 6-5. So I'll have five copies of Hulk 181. Oh, that's a great one too, the right. annual. Let's see if there's anything else that I'm selling here. Oh, I did get my second copy of these. 
9.8 newsstands tool. Anything DC right now, you should be buying it. I'm not selling most of DC. So you're specking hard on DC, huh? Yeah. Like this book, I think last night a 4 0 sold for like five or 600 bucks, which I think is what I paid for this 6 5. That's first in uh, uh, Bizarro. Bizarro. So I, yeah, it's not that I'm, you know, most of the stuff that I'm doing now, I'm just buying stuff to keep for a long time. Yeah, so I upgraded that one. I had uh, my 4 5, I sold the 6 5 and way back when. That's the one you saw, I think, the 3 0. So I might sell the 3 0 depending on what the price is. I want to get a, um, a higher copy of this one. So yeah, some of these books I might sell them. There's my uh, new stand I need. The funny thing is that this time, new stand wasn't that rare. I need a uh, 142 to make the full set. I have the regular, but I need a new stand. And I think I have my spiders here. Whoa, oh, there you go. There you go. This, I haven't this seen you that haven't yet. Seen that. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. When'd you grab that? Ah, about two months ago. I uh, um, I always bid on, on stuff on Heritage, and I love to just bid and forget about it and walk away. And then I got an email saying, you won. And I'm like, what? How did I win this? So at the time, this was selling for like 35, and I have bid it 30, and I won it for 27. Dang. So I'm like, okay, I'll keep it. And it has no chipping. And this book in 3.5 typically has a lot of marble chipping. The errors are on this side which I'm trying to convince Lenny to uh, break it open and fix it. More than likely, it'll get the same grade, but it'll look a lot better. Are you going to end up wanting to upgrade that one too eventually, or are you keeping the, oh, yeah, every book that is, copy? Yeah, well, if I, but if I upgrade this book, I might keep this one anyway. So it's not a book that, because this is something I could leave to, for my kids to inherit, you know. That one is the one that it'll be really hard for me to get rid of. I would have to find, somebody was gonna have to offer me like a NATO that I could trade to before I can get rid of. That's the only book I think that I have left with a Stanley signature. I wanna upgrade that. Definitely wanna upgrade that. Cannot upgrade that, I love that book. Bid it on this thing, forgot about it, and ended up closing for about less than half GPA. That's the first Silver Age appearance out, uh, outside of Heroes for Hire of Luke Cage. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So Luke Cage, the book, went for a few issues, drop, then he shows up here again, and then he goes to Heroes for Hire in uh, with Iron Fist. That's one of my favorites. I think I have two copies of that. Yeah. Which book you consider more of the first appearance of the black suit? Well, so I have all of them, right? And I have the, all of them in, in newsstand, as you see the, the uh, set. This was supposed to be the first appearance, but there was a delay in printing, so this one came out months after. So this was supposed to come out a week or two before these books, and then these two books came out at the same time. So the very first appearance is going to end up being that one. This is the first time he showed up, because you had to wait May, yeah, from May, from May to December, when this was supposed to come out in May before this book. So. In story, this is the first appearance. In the newsstands, this was the first appearance. These two. But this is a you know a homage to uh, AF15. That's what I'll do one day. I'll put these two books in the wall. Right? That'd be kind of cool. This is where McFarlane destroyed Spider-Man. What do you mean by that, <laughs> dude? That costume was the best. And then freaking Mary Jane crying cowardly made him get rid of the custom because of Venom. This is stupid. He came up with this Venom thing. When I bought this original from the newsstand, I freaking hated Venom. Are you weren't a big fan? Hell no. Because he, he he took over, you know, he stole Spider-Man's suit. And of course, I got a few of them. <laughs> and now you love it, right? Well, now I'm like, so you know what's funny? Donny Cates, to me, fixed Venom. And I know a lot of people hate Donny Cates. But that, that run of Venom that he did was awesome. Ryan it, Stegman did those covers yeah, too. Yeah, it was yeah. great. I got my 9.8 on that. Man, I, I send this book so many times, it's impossible to get a 9.8. I have a, a few raw ones. The new stand in that's probably real hard. You saw these, right? The Batman 2. Yeah, you saw these last time. Yeah, but I'll look at it I haven't had it in 
some of these are on sale. That's why they have Dang. prices on it. Some of these are on sale. Just to get bigger books. But a lot of these Batmans I won't sell. Unless I can get an upgrade. I'm missing the Riddler. Oh, the Riddler cover's nice. Yeah. That pink one. I just got... Wait, did I get... I didn't show you. This is new. That's new. So I've been getting into art. And then I found this stuff. Which are art artist editions. And what this is, these books... Is the size the actual size of uh, of of the original size of, of the drawings, and every page inside, it's a photocopy of the actual page. See how that, as it was drawn. There's the cover. Oh, that's and this is the actual really cool. size. So it's so it's life size, of, and you know Walt Simonson, for example, he doesn't sell his art. So all these stores. This, this somebody this will either end up in a, the original ones these are not original ones right but this this is the closest you can get to actually owning his originals because either it's going to end up in a museum or or his kids will sell it once once he passes away but this is look how awesome this is you can see the liquid paper right the white out you can see it look at it in the cover look at all the white out for corrections that's awesome see man. they originally was going to be this way and then they change it to to that oh way. that's awesome i wonder what makes them decide that oh probably because they didn't want it to cover the foot too much yeah maybe this thing still goes for about 500 bucks oh really yeah yeah because they they when they first came out what was the price on this when it first came out this was where'd you get that from i got this from tom when they first came out they were about 100 bucks see but now in the second market because they only did it once these things are, are super expensive. So I got a few from Tom. This thing right here, to find original art from this guy is just impossible. Adam Hughes learned everything he knows from this guy. Oh, that's cool. Massachelli. And this one, actually, put your finger here. Oh, it's in Braille. Yeah. Now that I'm getting into original art, I have to get this. And then this, let me see. Oh. I love his work and immune some in Electra Assassin. It's just amazing. And then this one I'll open. I'm gonna do a um I'm gonna do an unboxing for this. This is the original art that I actually bought, but I'll do an unboxing of it later. This one potentially is the best of the set. Whoa! And so so look at how much bigger it is compared to say, the other. Yeah. So all the art in there is that is the original size. But to actually find an original for Zeta, you're gonna pay thousands and thousands of dollars to get it. So this book, which I'm gonna open soon and go page by page on it, it's I, I'm sure that stuff in there is amazing, right? And stuff that you can't see anymore out there in in, in original art. My what I the reason I bought these is because I'm gonna try to draw every page myself. So that's kind of like a good project from now until the day I die. I'm just gonna copy, you know, and start drawing. I just gotta find a place where to put them, where... Yeah, it's hard to display eat. big stuff right. like this sometimes, especially because this thing's freaking heavy. It is heavy. It is, this is, let's say at least 10 pounds. It's huge too. That thing is really cool. But I'll, I'll, the way I'm gonna do this, I'll just put it on my art uh, table and go page by page. Now, this actually original art of this sold a few uh, uh, a few weeks ago. I want to say it went for forty or fifty k. Wow. I mean, I imagine having the original art, and you saw how big those pages are. That's uh, like the Frasetta size. So imagine having the original art of these. Some of these are painted, so they'll come in color just like you see it. Show up for the uh, uh, live sale. It's going to be December 16th or 17th. I'll put it out on my Instagram, at comic underscore lore. Thanks a lot, guys. Let's see what we got here. And here we go, Mr. Kelly Jones. I just love Kelly Jones. So this is a commission. I got all these at uh, Comic Link. If you uh, if you read Sandman, 
This guy drew Salmon Like Nobody and this is That Man by Kelly, Kelly Jones. This is actually a printed page. This is a published cover of Wolverine number 45, page two. This is Avengers number one, page 26. I actually wanna get an Ed McGuinness Superman. That's what I really wanna get. But hey, you know what? I got an Ed McGuinness Avengers, so that's really cool. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite artists of all times. This is a, a Speedy, it's a Spaniard. He's now dead, Alfonso Speedy, but this is uh, from a heavy metal comic book. This is also a pinup. This is not a, um, an actual published page. My favorite piece, Deloto. To actually own a piece of Deloto, this is not a published piece, but look at the detail. This is a commission. To get this, this to me was just amazing. And then the last but not least, the master himself, Bernie Wrightson. I really don't know how to say his name. Wrightson. Bernie Wrightson. But this is published Punisher number three, page four. So you have Frank Castle in here, I think. And it's, it is a Bernie Wrightson, even though there's not a monster. If this thing will have the monster, this will be so expensive. And that Del Auto is so cool. I mean, the, the stuff that was selling that day was incredible, right? I was just, I'm just diving into, th this is just getting into original art. I cannot afford a published page from Delato, but I do own a published page from Bernie Wrightson. You can, I would say, I mean, I don't want to speak for you, but you can afford an original. Well, page. I just. <laughs> you sell a when, couple when, of these in here. <laughs> well, yeah, but when I get into like, you know, something like this, I know what I'm getting into. I don't know much about art other than the fact that I love it. Right, so I don't want to pay a lot of money for something that I don't have an exit strategy on. I have exit strategy for every book that I buy, right? And I know that if I die, my kids know how to get, how to sell this. I don't have a clue how to sell this today, right? So I'm just buying it because I love it. That's the difference, that's the difference. That's what everybody says that I talk to because I've been wanting starting, to get into original starting, art more, right. but everybody says it's hard to sell. This one's actually, I just realized, this is a, um, but I mean, it's to my friend, I think it says Connie. I love Aspiri. Aspiri was one of my favorites growing up. And Kelly Jones. I mean, this guy's insane. Yeah, I love his Batman stuff. Insane. Is that Dead Man? Though? That is Dead Man. One of my favorites DC characters. Bet you this was pencil first, right? Got the blue lines, maybe the pencil, and then he did ink over it. And this then you one got awesome. Yeah, Umberto Ramos. So right now, I'm just buying the artists that I like. What did this and piece this is cost Polish. though? Like something like this has to be at least uh, 500 bucks, right? You know what? I could tell you exactly. Hold on. Where was the invoice? Yeah, yeah the there's... Wrightson was the most expensive and I only paid 800 for it. And now this is my new hobby. Actually buying the actual art itself because this is one of one. Regardless of what it is, right? This is one of one. The artist drew it and then released them and now I own this page. The artist doesn't own it. Nobody else owns it. Marvel doesn't own it. So this is one one. This is this is so this is my new hobby, and I think the same with these, right? Even though this hasn't been published, this is you know this specific drawing by Kelly Jones, signed by him. I own it. This guy's dead, and I own an Aspiri, right? So, Wrightson, this guy's dead, and I and I own this piece of art. So to me, this is just insane, right? So when I think about that, I gotta get into art, and that's why I've been. I just started getting into it. I have a few other pieces that I think you saw. I bought that at, at uh, uh, Heroes Con. Is that an original? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's really nice. To me, better than owning the comic. Like this comic book, if you buy it, right, is what, four or five dollars for the comic book? Something like that, yeah, probably. But the original page is you know, you own it. It's one of one. I was going to say, it's whatever you want it to be worth right now. <laughs> That's right. Imagine there's a collector that wants every page, and I'm the only guy with that, with that page. So, I still think, I'm not collecting right now from a resale perspective. I'm just making portfolios of this stuff, right? And, but yes, I am going to go to the Orlando uh, um, Original Art Expo in, uh, is it in January? Yeah, it's in January. It's yeah. the day after my birthday on the 26th. I'm going to go with, I think I'm hopefully going to be able to sell some of the books I've been having in my personal collection and go with some cash and well, buy some cool And that's art. what you got to do. So everything I sell on this live sale coming up, I'm going to put a lot of that money towards original art. So we'll see what how that show goes. But I love it that it's in Orlando, so we don't have to go too far. If I cannot afford the big page that I want, I'm just going to go for the artist first because, again, I'm doing it mostly for fun at this point. Eventually, I, I'm knowing myself, I'm going to get into it pretty deep. So we'll see what I, what this becomes. Which one of these is your favorite 
let me know in the comments. Follow us, follow Comic Den. Thank you guys for watching.